Ever since the launch, Honda Amaze was known to be a highly refined, comfortable and a no-nonsense compact sedan. We saw the launch of a completely new model back in 2018 and the brand has now refreshed the car with the new facelift launch model which is standing right in front of us. Well, what are the 5 things that you should know about this car? Keep watching this video to find it out. Hello everyone, I am Nitin and I guess it's time to begin. Well, first things first, the Honda Amaze is the only car in the compact sedan segment to offer a proper automatic gearbox. Be it a petrol engine or the diesel engine, the car comes mated to a CVT which is very very smooth, especially for those who will be driving the car in urban traffic. Rivals like the Aura or the Desire on the other hand offer slow and jerky AMT gearboxes. So if you are someone who is planning to buy a proper automatic compact sedan, Amaze is the way to go forward for. Also, do you know that the diesel Amaze now is almost 1 lakh more expensive when compared to the older models? While it may not be a concern for the people who are actually opting for the petrol or the petrol auto variants, the diesel however is not so value for money when compared to the outgoing model. Well, the next thing that you should know are the updates made to the exteriors of the vehicle. To start with, the Amaze gets a very new and a refreshed front fascia. Uh, the car gets automatic LED projector headlamps with a very prominent LED DRL. You also have new LED fog lamps along with chrome garnish. The grille which used to be very bold and imposing is now more elegant and has a premium feel to it. Uh, the low grille too has been revised and in all, all the updates of the Amaze, well it has made the Amaze look a lot more fresher lot more premium and a lot more attractive than before. Coming to the sides of the car, we do get new dual cut 15 inch alloy wheels. We also have chrome door handles and in all these small small changes, well they have given a completely new side profile to the vehicle. Changes to the rear are well, they are reserved to the LED tail lights which you are getting in the mid and the top spec variant. You also have chrome garnish and a diffuser sort of finish on the lower half of the bumper. But all these changes have given the Amaze a very attractive and a strong road presence. Well, on stepping inside the cabin of the Amaze, we do observe a number of changes. Well, the car now gets silver finish on the dashboard instead of the gloss lac which we saw in the older models. The steering wheel too has a silver finish. The door pads have the same silver finish. And in my opinion, the silver finish, the silver accents are used to highlight the parts, the trim elements of the dashboard go really well with the design combination and makes the cabin a little more premium. Well, apart from that, we also have the silver accent on the AC knobs. We have a new leather boot instead of the rubber boot which we saw in the older Amaze. Uh, the, obviously the new Amaze. So this looks more premium and do, uh, definitely suits the overall ambience of the car. Well, those opting for the top end variant of the Amaze will also be surprised to know uh, that the car gets different and a special upholstery stitching and a pattern which looks very premium and the seats of course are very very supportive and if you are somebody who will be spending a lot of time in the cabin of the Amaze well you will be very very happy well another prominent change made to the Amaze has to be the inclusion of these uh, cabin lamp at, up, up at the front because the older Amaze only had a single cabin lamp which used to be there in the center so you also have a cabin lamp in the center but apart from that, I think addition of these dual door lamps or I would say the cabin lamps, well, it is appreciable in my opinion. Well, another major change made to the Amaze uh, is the in addition of the new infotainment screen. Now, this 7-inch touchscreen system uh, may be smaller when compared to the rivals, but again comes loaded with a lot of features. It gets Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Bluetooth connectivity and a lot more. Apart from that, you also have the Honda Connect feature. Uh, the touch response, it is great. The audio quality too is decent and if I compare this infotainment system to that of the outgoing Amaze, well this is definitely a welcome addition and will be appreciated by the buyers of this class. So we saw the exteriors of the Amaze, we checked the interiors and I think it's time to get going and see how good is the vehicle to drive. 
So the Amaze it is available with four different bottling options to start with. We have a petrol manual, petrol auto, diesel manual and a diesel auto. The petrol manual well it gets a claim power output of around 88 hp and 110 newton meter of peak torque while the diesel manual on the other hand uh, delivers somewhere around 100 hp and 200 newton meter of peak torque right uh, talking about the petrol manual which i'm driving right now well the engine we all know has always been very refined very smooth the performance however could have been better but you will not be left wanting uh, when you are when it comes to normal city driving on highway, well, yes, you have to plan your overtakes really well. You'll have to downshift most of the times whenever you want to overtake a fast-moving vehicle. But apart from that, the clutch action, the throttle response, both of them, well, it remains very, very impressive. We also test drove the diesel. We test drove the petrol auto and the diesel auto as well. Well, the diesel engine is very powerful, has a great low end, is a great machine for city as well as for highway usage. But somehow the NVH levels in that motor could have been controlled. The diesel clutter, where it fil filters inside the cabin, uh, there's surplus amount of torque, however, which makes it a great machine. Fuel efficiency from both these motors is impressive. And I think Amaze is the only vehicle in its class to offer a proper automatic gearbox, proper diesel gearbox, which remains very smooth, unlike the rivals which are offering slow and jerky AMT boxes. Visibility overall is great, the brakes too are very impressive and steering well while it is light, it does weigh up significantly well as the speeds rise, however feel and feedback could have been better but well I am not complaining because the Amaze is made for the an average family man who will be driving the vehicle most of the times in urban traffic on the highways, the hardcore driving enthusiast on the other hand would definitely want more feel and feedback, the suspension setup on the other hand is soft and is tuned to deliver maximum comfort to you. Push the vehicle hard and you will realize that the high speed stability is great. The gearbox is a very slick shifting unit. You will be finding it very, very joyful to actually change the gears. The shifts are very soft. Clutch action as I mentioned before is smooth. The clutch travel is not very long and in all the petrol manual is a great combination for anyone who's looking for a refined and a smooth experience. While the CVT gearbox is very smooth and you'll be really liking the drivability of the motor, it does tend to get a little too noisy when you push the motor hard. Again, the rubber band effect is very prominent and somewhere if you are someone who likes to push their vehicle hard and you have to buy an Amaze, well, you should go for the manual gearboxes. Well, these were the five changes made to the new Honda Amaze. What do you think about this vehicle? Do you think that this is a better choice when compared to the rivals? Well, do let us know in the comments box below. Stay tuned for more such automotive content. We'll see you soon. It's bye for now. Stay safe. Stay healthy.